Did you ever get no-shows from your clients? You know how we say that we need to build rapport with our clients and get to know them well? Yet this does not mean that everything is permitted. You've got to know your limits on how far and personal you are with your clients. So in this episode number 118, I'm going to share with you three tips on how to increase the commitments of your client to show up. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from thierryvalexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so that you can attract all the best qualified leads into your business for you to be able to monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new video training and you also get access to a download of some sort, cheat sheet, guide, a further training that you can download to empower yourself in your business and get to move the needle closer to your goals achievements. In this week's episode, I'm going to share with you three tips on how to increase your clients' commitments to show up. In every relationship, whether being in love, friendship, employment, collaborations, all parties must be aware of all the expectations for whatever situation that arises. This is to mostly avoid any misunderstanding as well as to make sure that there is a great rapport between you and the other person. I often repeat something that I've learned from other leaders on my journey, which is the money is in the messenger and the fortune is in the follow-up. The reason for saying this is that most people will buy from you after several exposures to what you are doing and offering. Equally, your existing clients will do what they are supposed to do when you are actually guiding them and follow up with them. Some people might actually require a a few follow-up meetings and a bit of tough love in order to make the needle move towards the achievement of their goals. Therefore, it is really important to set the follow-up meeting at the end of the current session so that you, your clients, or your prospect can pencil that down in your diary immediately while you are together. My second tip is to use the two strike or out strategy. You will definitely, because it is inevitable, encounter some situations where your prospect or your client says that they will show up and they won't. You can prevent that by setting the tone before anything happens, before from the get go. To set the tone, you basically just let them know that they will have one or two strikes in the cor- on the course of the relationship that you're building together, depending on the length of that relationship. For example, if you're a wedding makeup artist and then your bride-to-be is postponing the trial one time, you can let her know that next time she does that, it will have to be charged and also her trial will have to be rescheduled at a new fee, completely new fee. This avoids cancellations. So it's one or two strikes and out, depending on the length of your relationship. And as you know, each and every single week, I do equip you with a new freebie of some sort to empower you in in your business so that you can move the needle closer to your goals achievement. This week, because we're talking about strategies and tips on how to make your customers, your clients, your prospects to show up to meetings, I put together a three easy step follow up process guide that is helping for just this. It's going to give you some scripts that you can use and adapt to your situation so that people are showing up and answering at least to your messages when you are following up with them. If you want to get access to this three easy step to follow up process, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. If you're on my YouTube channel or any other platform, just look around this video. You'll see a description section that has a link taking you back to my blog. Once you're there below this video again, you'll see a massive yellow button, click it and you'll receive my three easy step to follow up process guide into your email box. And my third and final tip is to create a contract. 
Of course, the best way to solidify policies, rules and boundaries is to create a contract that your client signs and send back to you. This way you have a, a backup showing that you basically agreed on the terms and you can obviously charge if they were not showing up to a trial, for example. So in conclusion, you have those three tips, which are follow up process. Make sure to set the follow up before at the end of each session for the next time. So you, your prospect and, and your client have the date in your diary. Second is to have the one or two strikes and out type of policy where you give them a chance, but you also let them know ideally before anything, you give them warning even before anything happens that if they don't show up, it will be charged or that you, you, you won't be able to redo a meeting depending on the circumstances and, and what level you're at, uh, at what phase you're at with the person. And the third one is to establish a contract that they can sign your client signs and send back over to you. That way you've got a backup that you can refer back to if anything was happening. Being in charge of your business will definitely make position you as an authority within your field and people will look up to you and respect you for doing so because they'll know that you know what you're doing and where you are going. And remember, I've got your back with my three easy step follow up process guide that you can get by clicking the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically into your email box. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you can share it with your fellow network marketers, your, your fellow entrepreneurs, makeup artists, whomever you believe could benefit from the details and the information you've got from this training as well as the freebie that you can download below this video question of the week what is the main challenge that you encounter with your prospect and or your clients share with me in the comment section perhaps i can help you if there's anything specific that you would like to share that you would like to ask feel free to do so in the comment section and i will get back to you because i do get back to all the comments Thank you so much for tuning in. Love connecting with you each and every single week. This video training is a wrap, but I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye-bye.